to the 80% Catholic in the Philippines and to all the climates. This letter of Pope Benedictus and Pope Franciscus serve as the clearance and authority of 777 Morningstar, the only sole signatory of the divine wealth, accounts and assets. To all the claimants and transactionists, listen, without the nod of Vatican, all your claims are useless. Even you are holding a original document, I advise you, you better surrender it to the Morning Star to make it money. Yes, there is gold. There is marvelous gold. And plenty of it. Known only to the high temper of Credit Suisse and other Swiss banks, because the bank's secret law is ordered by my president, Ferdinand Enderlin Marcos. However, one thing which Mr. Marcos overlooked, he, the Swiss bank are booby traps used by the Elan, Elite to trap the Anwari, like what happened to the Rothschild Bank in Zurich, owned by Baron Eli, the Rothschild of London, where they have been charged with embezzling money from the states. They were one of the possible global when leaving the states in Switzerland. However, those who are foolish enough to choose bank owned by international web of artists can expect trouble when the trouble sit in the public and the politician meet expert advice on how to benefit from the Switzerland unique political, legal, and banking system and how to avoid the pitfalls for the second time the elite target of the Gentiles money. The sudden emerge of the claimant of Marcos Fortune. There are a lot of them growing like a mushroom claiming that they know something. It's always turned out to be a rumors mongers, pretenders. This is totally a pickery and trickery. <laughs> the sudden emergence of women, there were a lot of women, but According to the fighting faith of Mr. Marcos, just review it because it was already been produced by the Jewish TV. You just subscribe and click, then you will know the ultimate truth about what is the fighting faith of Mr. Marcos. The claimant of Marcos fortune aside from the BCGG, and the 10,000 human rights victims were denied the fact that Marcos obtained his wealth from Father Jose Antonio Diaz. The Vatican Filipino Spanish Treasury has expertise in handling the Holy See, priceless position gained for him the complete trust and confidence of Pope Pius the seventh, a trust he later betrayed. Just before the outbreak of World War II, Father Diaz 
return to the Philippines to secretly carry out his most prized agenda. He changed his identity to Colonel Severano Severino Santa Romana to better carry out his devious plan to transfer the Vatican gold volume and treasure to his personal account in various banks, Father Jose Antonio Diaz, alias Colonel Severino Santa Romana, which means Severino Santa Romana means the servant of Rome. Killed his name before the Vatican could kill him. He then befriended a young, brilliant lawyer in the person of Ferdinand Edwin Marcos, who will willingly help him carry out his clandestine activities in exchange, Father Diaz told the young Marcos everything he needed to master in the art of international gold trading and the proof of this special relationship is the fact that Marcos attended the inaugural ceremony of U.S. President Harry S. Truman as the official representative of Jose E. Diaz and company listed firm in New York, Stock Exchange, he offered Marcos 15% of the entire board for his fee. It is hard to believe that the disappearance of Vatican gold volume was one of the spark that ignited the World War II. This tremendous loss of valuable assets which led to the excommunication, excommunication, excommunicado of Father Diaz drove the Roman Catholic Church to sign a concordat with the Nazi German in order to transfer her remaining gold holding to Sydney heaven in Switzerland under Nazi sponsorship. A concordat is a public and solemn agreement between the Holy See and the civil government is specially designed to regulate this mutual relationship on matter of interest to both parties. The agreement between Pope Pius VII and Napoleon Bonaparte in 1801 was also called the Concordat and gave its name to subsequent agreement between the church and various states. The last shipment of gold under the ship of Awa Maru from the Vatican has become the gold of Zionism, asset grabbing operation. Some Jewish bankers have conventionally, conveniently included it in the Black Eagle or Nazi gold transaction. The including gold bars is tossed away from the Rika Bank in Berlin prior to official demise of the Third Ring. Since the Marcos Gold initially formed part of the Vatican Gold Holding, the trilateral bankers have also referred to a movement of the Marcos Hold as the Black Eagle transaction, especially those that were kept in the vault in Switzerland. Some of the content of this account were never physically moved with only subsequent transfer of ownership which was under the clock of secrecy designed by the brilliant Marcos, my president. <laughs> One would be secretly near, naive, or unutterably ignorant on elementary diplomacy. However, to think that this unexpected move on the part of the church, Herodotus, was circumstantial, 
and was not part of the Vatican Ostopolitic history shows that Vatican is always prepared for any eventuality and more often than not the Shastru of Saint Ignatius had been the Delta Force ready to dispatch of any part of the world to carry out Rome's secret order. The Vatican always goes with the winner and Rome was enthusiastically shown the support of Marxism even acquiring a communist pope from Poland, the anti-Catholic error of social modernism, revolutionary egalitarianism, pacifism, and naturalism, all of which are indicated the trials of the Christian social order. The Vatican paradigm ship explained where there is no love Laws between the church and cardinal Jaime Cardinal Sin and Marcos Marcelo regime Sin faithfully carried out Vatican order to help extricate Marcos from power. The former Filipino strokeman has not been granted absolution by the rightful owner of the paper order. The Marcos Gold Volume is no longer a secret if you just click on the Juris TV. And the connivance of the few close associates and relatives of the former president, the BCGG has discovered where trans transes of gold wealth are located, but they cannot touch the loop. Without the approval of Marcos Hears, and that is the Mahalika. Named yes. by Mr. Marcos as the beneficiaries, they had also known that to touch that part of the booty would infuriate the tributaries and would send them to Kingdom Come. There is no way of empathy can be broken for now anyway. What adds to the confusion is the fact that while serving in his exile in Hawaii, President Marcos managed secretly changed the previous list of trustees to his secret account, making the present box of documents that he still be the position of relatives, former heirs of the trustees, is utterly worthless and quite priceless. This was discovered by no less than the former first lady, Mrs. Imelda Romualdis Marcos, in her recent trip to Hong Kong. To her dismay, Madam Marcos came home empty-handed. One thing is certain, the peoples of the Republic of the Philippines, the Maharlika, the new Filipino, are the ultimate beneficiaries of the Marcos Well. Uh, in November, 1996, Lord Elisa Santa Romana, administrator of the Severino Santa Romana Estates, decided to withdraw the man so or receive and collect the deposit of any kind and nature whatsoever of Severino Santa Romana under that name or under any of his Recognize aliases Jose Antonio Diaz, Jose Antonio de la Paz, Jose Antonio de la Peña, Matias Cunha, Severino Perez, Cecilio Pamentuan, Severino Reyes, Jose Almonte, 
Antonio Peña and the following names Bank Citibank, First National Citibank of New York, or any of the branches of any other bank or plus company located anywhere in the world where accounts in the above names of Severino Santa Romana or his aliases are found. He verified whether the account number in the position of Santa Romana is really exhibit or existed. To her astonishment and surprise, he discovered that aside from bank account presented to Manila Court and the Surrogate Court of New York, There were yet other accounts that could be also identified with these Santa Romana states, particularly those mistakenly thought to belong to the states of former Ferdinand Marcos. The truth of the matter is that Marcos since then have been certain about close association, so as in his deep desire to be known to a few Credible witness his intention to give back majority of his earthly position to the Filipino people. He personally handpicked the 77 Morning Star Foundation Incorporated. Yes. He wrote down in his fighting faith a submit to World Bank to International Monetary Fund. So, the name of the true Freeman is only under the 77 Morning Star Foundation. <laughs> of those key program, all the reverse key program was already been answered in the Jewish TV and those people who pray that please, 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 whoever you are, my dear friend, please come up now. So, here is your friend, a Filipino. We are here with my Legitimate members, <coughs> officers of the 77 Morning Star working for that future. So that our nation will become the greatest of all. <clears throat> the truth on his this desire, this intention, that being a founder of the new society or bagong lipunan, lipunan ng mga tao nagbago tungo sa kaunlaran, pwede na kayo ngumiti ngayon sapagkat nakangiti na ang ah, inyong kinapapasan. to purposely implement his wishes to make this nation the greatest at the same time putting out in the open exactly how much his wealth was truly worth. In fact, he deliberately after his own signature to mislead any possible forgers or impostor after having duly updated and rearranged all his existing account in 1987. Marcos' new accounts cannot be doubts without four required factors being met. The LOI with certificate of entitlement and a letter of instruction by handwriting, not 
and any of those new device. So everybody who really knows Mr. Marcos come into open with that handwriting of Mr. Marcos. Maybe many claim that they know Mr. Marcos. Yes, he's a strong man. He knows by everybody in my in our age. But the question is, show us that Mr. Marcos knew you. That is different stories. New trustees, the bank concerned with the entire palm print of the assigned trustees are complying a certificate legibly signed by Ferdinand Emmanuel Adrian Marcos himself. The foundation participation in the claim as required by the Marcos will warrant the fulfillment of his will and testament to give the Filipino people what is rightful due but we need the now of the Vatican. I repeat, the warrant to fulfillment to his will and testament to give the Filipino people what is rightful due, but we need the land of the Vatican. In his last will and testament, his last agreement, the former snowman had assigned to the successor of his fortune this incredible amount would easily prevent the country from being engulfed by ongoing collapse of the world banking system. The question is how do we get around organizations like the CIA, the Mossad, the Triad, and all those who have worked hand in hand for the international Silation. The year 1992 revealed that the gold hoard of Mr. Marcos do not comprise anything of what so called Yamatsita treasure, but that is a 1940 shipment from the Vatican which come from the vault of the wealth of the Catholic Church, although the bulk of the precious metal is intact in several bank depositories worldwide, especially in Europe. It is strongly believed that good half of the total hoard is still hidden in the park. of the Kingdom of Mahalia. to be found. Marcos gold hole is separate from the distinct from Yomacita Trishon, the former dwarf, the leader in terms of total amount involved. Hindi pa katapat ng dominan ng koko. The Vatican has acted as repository of the treasure of European families with so papal assistance upon the Nazis invasion in 1939 
At that time, the Pope reportedly ordered a big bulk of case transported to the Philippines in the custody of one father, Jose Antonio Diaz, when World War II ended, the real owner sought to recover their bullion, reportedly 75 kilo, kilograms bar, but discovered that the custodian, a priest, has already refused to return everything back to them, forcing them to file a necessary claim for the recovery of their metal and juries with the International Court of Justice in Hub in October of 1946, Father Jose Antonio Diaz then sought the assistance of oh, my president, a young brilliant lawyer, offering him 15% of the entire hold of his fee. But some source says that soon after the 70s, the aging father Jose Antonio Diaz leaving behind a holographic will assigning the total stars of gold to the Filipino people, the Maharlikan. <laughs> the welfare of the Filipino always come first and foremost, gifted with executive ability that is unmatched up to this time. The late President Marcos was a real hero who did not allow himself to be a puppet. This was a reason why code names his last will and testament to Umbrella Foundation, especially appropriation all his earthly position to the peoples of the Philippines, the Mahanigan True Marcos Foundation, all this up, cloth, and secrecy, the topmost secret. Contained documents now being controlled by the duly authorized yet undisclosed key players. Nobody knows them, neighbor in the iota of their minds. Nobody knows. This personal handwritten will of the late president was willingly executed to assure the people of the Republic that it is the strong one intention to make them truly benefit from his mind, consequently vindicating his name, Marcos, is a clean. Nobody, they can never touch the Marcos goal, keep in their back because the RPC marking make them property of the Philippine Republic as they know, but it all from Mr. Arpi. Every movement of the world is carefully monitored, monitored by international exchange like London Metal Exchange, and believably, as it may seem, this is the reason behind President John F. Kennedy assassination because of the late American president insistence of convert the Federal Reserve Bank of America into a central bank entirely controlled by the U.S. government. This reportedly broke the air of corporate Americans who controlled the U.S. banking mafia through the Federal Reserve Bank. The U.S. federal system is not a government agent but a private monopoly for profit which control the economic life of every person in America. <laughs> a very interesting story with every Filipino who is interested just click in the Jewish team. In recovering the Marcos fortune should now know that war makes them out of boys, also heroes and madmen. The crew of the U.S. submarine crew was in a fix. What to get for ballast? 
Then someone suggested gold. The private mining companies were anxious to move their asset for safekeeping after hasty negotiation, the crew of the plant began loading the hole with 583 gold bars valued at 9 million US dollars to an additional weight 18 tons of silver pesos worth over 300,000 US dollars were brought on board as well as crates and trunk filled with negotiable securities. With this previous weight in gold and silver, the truth fought its way through the Pacific and simply delivered every glittering bricks to the authorities of San Francisco is now some 40 odd years, 50 odd years after World War II. But what happened to all this gold?